It's time for an update regarding the Terra Invicta Kickstarter, which started a little while back. Well, it looks pretty good for them. They've just blasted past $100,000, which is 500% more than the 20 grand that they were initially asking. And it looks like they've added a few stretch goals to their game. And overall, it looks pretty impressive what they have so far. For those of you who are not up to date regarding this particular Kickstarter just yet, this is a grand strategy game where you start on Earth and a alien presence has been detected inside of the solar system and they are on their way to, well, probably conquer Earth. Who knows what they're actually up to? All we know is, is that they're building a fleet somewhere in the Kuiper Belt and we should probably go out into space and try to counter whatever they're doing. This is made by the team that made The Long War for uh, XCOM, uh, Enemy Unknown, as well as XCOM 2. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty promising. Now they've got Vertical Slice, they feel that they're going to be delivering sometime later in the year of 2021. And it looks pretty, pretty impressive what they have so far. So you can uh, obviously conquer the planet, or at least get the resources needed to get into space, industrialize set space, explore the solar system, build fleets, build uh, planets, at least outposts and mining, etc. And counter the aliens as where you can. Now the aliens will of course try to do subterfuge on your planet and try to do all sorts of nefarious things, stuff that you are probably used to when it comes to XCOM, but you are playing as one of the factions trying to overcome things. Now, as of uh, very recently, the first stretch goal was hit for this game. Now, initially, only one faction was going to be playable in this particular game at launch. Now, as of now, right now, the Kickstarter has unlocked the ability to play as all of the individual factions within the game. And I like this. You know, you have multiple ways of playing and every single faction has their own goal, which I think is really, really important. It, variety is the spice of life. Everybody knows about this, which is, uh, you know, pretty important. For instance, you've got the resistance, which is your basic one, and you need to prevent the aliens from dominating the solar system. Now, the, those are the, that was the base one that came with the initial Kickstarter. But as of right now, the following has been unlocked as well which will be launching with the game at launch. The Academy, which is looking for an alliance between humans and aliens. Interesting approach. The Servants, uh, to submit to said aliens. The Initiative, to profit, to get as much money off of the alien arrival, which I would think selling technology uh, gathered from said aliens. Project Exodus, which in my personal opinion could be one of the more interesting ones which basically means build a giant ship and get the hell out of dodge because it's all about building a giant spaceship to head out of the solar system because well um, the earth is the cradle of the mind but one cannot stay in the cradle forever thank you uh, father of rocketry humanity first destroy the aliens this is your classic xeno uh, phobe style of faction and finally the protector which is all about peaceful coexistence now all of these are going to be playable at release which is pretty exciting it means the game is going to have a lot of replayability as long of course everything is being fleshed out properly which of course is a little bit of a wor uh, a bit of a worry we don't know whether or not these factions are going to have very different play styles as of right now i'm sure that we're going to be seeing more of that in the future but of course considering this has just been announced as a an additional feature that they're going to be adding on to the game well let's put it this way let's hope that they're going to be building unique mechanics for every single faction in terms of interaction with the aliens as well as tech trees etc especially project exodus because you know getting a giant spaceship somewhere and shooting it out to the stars in general is going to be a challenge i really hope that it's going to be something along the lines of the technology you can go at any point but it's just going to take longer depending on where you're at within your tech tree so the aliens could be invading very very soon but are you going to be waiting for them to get closer and closer just so that you can get your quote-unquote um 
plasma torch or fusion torch style technology to get to your objective quicker or be able to hold more people or cryostasis or generation ship i really like that idea whether or not it's going to be in the game who knows that is the other one second crowd uh, goal was unlocked as well which is a brand new ship set that is going to be released with the game as well uh, apparently 12 additional ships are going to be added which are a little bit sleeker nimble gunship uh, nimble gunships to hulking titans sleek modern Perfect for orbital bombardment or the vending moons, uh, the moons of Saturn. At least that's how they describe it as such. Now, when they dis uh, even though the description itself is really, really short, I kind of imagine the um, MC MCR, you know, the uh, Mars Colonial Republic from uh, the Expanse. When it comes to this sort of explanation, you know, that's what I have in mind. I, I wouldn't mind flying around with Aurora Conte. And now finally, they've got another stretch goals, which was called, which will be unlocked at one hundred and forty thousand dollars. How far away are they right now off of that? Let's have a look here. They are <laughs> okay. Uh, they are about eighteen thousand dollars away from uh, that goal. Oh no, actually, it's far more than that. It's thirty eight uh, thirty eight thousand dollars. As of right now, uh, and it's understandable why it is that far because they want to add a Cold War scenario, which I think is cool. You know, adding a Cold War scenario is very interesting. Uh, obviously, uh, the game is focused around initially uh, very much around geopolitics, at least from what I understand as of right now. And the geopolitics of East versus West, um, the co communism versus capitalism, as well as the third world, is fascinating, especially in this scenario. If you've ever read the book uh, uh, World War, uh, you should probably go and try that out. It's, uh, it's really interesting. The idea is, is that aliens arrive on Earth during World War II. It's uh, it's 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 by a Harry Turtle dub. You should go and try that out. And basically, what that would involve. This could be a very similar scenario there. And of course, you've got the Cold War. If you start as the Americans, who knows? Maybe if you got SDI or Star Wars, as it was referred to at the time, or uh, the amount of money that was pumped into the uh, military-industrial complex at the time was a pretty substantial. And of course, the Soviets on the other side with their N1 rocket, etc., etc., etc. Maybe space shuttle, Bur. On, who knows i'm a big fan of not well, a fan is not really the correct word i'm very fascinated by cold war technology this whole um retro futuristic style stuff and I, I do think this could be a very interesting scenario so uh, expanded tech tree probably to handle uh, all the initial technology uh this the, uh, the nuclear standoff the space race etc could be really 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 cool and of course hopefully there would be uh different factions involved in there as well a world on the brink and then aliens are thrown into the mix who knows what's gonna happen then anyway this has been your update regarding Terra Invicta. If you're interested in this game, and of course there is a link here on your screen now as well, uh, feel free to go and check out the other video that I've done on this particular on the, this particular game. And if you like it, well, uh, feel free to head over towards the Kickstarter and maybe pledge. Or if you're still a little bit uh, not too sure about what you're seeing right now, but it could be something that you're interested in, go and uh, check out the Steam page for it. I'll have a link for that in the description as well. And uh, just uh, put it on your wish list or something along those lines. I'm sure that you will uh, be updated once more information becomes available. And hey, and then you can read the reviews and then maybe pull the trigger. Who knows? That could be something for you. Terra Invicta, one of the games I'm definitely looking forward to in 2021. I've pledged myself, by the way, because I've, I've got pretty good faith in this game. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and thank you to my patrons for making this video possible. I wish you all a good day, and until next time, take good care of yourselves, and remember, friends, don't let friends have Xenos attack their planet.